Good afternoon everybody. This is the second video update for Super Typhoon 1 or Maggie uh, around uh, 1 30 p.m. Philippine time and uh, as I speak one is making its landfall or actually half an hour ago Pagasa on their Twitter account posted that uh, Super Typhoon 1 made landfall somewhere in, in Divilacan, Isabela. That's a half an hour ago. And uh, the place is around uh, 60 to 70 kilometers uh, east southeast of Tugegaro. And landfall winds are estimated to be around 270 kph. The wind speeds you see here right now are just estimates based on the latest uh, satellite data and uh, 260 kph for sustained with gusts of up to 315 one is moving west at 20 kilometers an hour with a minimum pressure of 885 millibars so this makes it uh, unofficially the strongest tropical cyclone to make landfall surpassing the Labor Day hurricane 1930s that made landfall in uh, Florida. It's unofficial because uh, Pagasa doesn't have any weather stations near Typhoon 1. The closest they have, as far as I know, is in Tugegara, which is about uh, 50 to 60 kilometers south of uh, where Maggie is right now. So they probably won't be seeing or getting very low pressure readings there. And besides the 885 millibar is just an estimate from uh, the JMA, from uh, the Jap Japanese Meteorological Agency. And anyway, Pagasa has raised uh, signal number four in a lot of provinces. Cagayan, Isabela, Kalinga, Mountain Province, and Ifugao. Signal number three in Babuyan Group of Islands, Kalayan Group of Islands, Northern Aurora, Quirino, Neva, Vizcaya, Benguet, Ilocos Nortes, Ilocos Sur, Abra, La Union, and Apaya. Signal number two for Pulilio Island, Neva Ecija, Pangasinan, Tarlac, Batanes Group of Islands, and the rest of Aurora. Signal number one for Cavite, Bulacan, Pampanga, Bataan, Zambales, Northern Quezon, Rizal, Laguna, Batangas, and Metro Manila. So, here is our uh, long-term forecast. You can see uh, made landfall somewhere in uh, Isabella right here. And we expect... Typhoon 1 to continue moving generally west southwest and uh, weakening significantly, becoming category 2 as it exits the island of Luzon uh, somewhere around uh, midnight tonight. And after the third day, however, uh, weather agencies and computer models still not in agreement as to where Typhoon Maggie will uh, proceed. Some agencies actually uh, forecasting uh, Maggie to uh, move towards Hong Kong. Still roughly five days away, so uh, expect a lot of changes in the forecast. Anyway, for our short-term forecast, we expect that by 8 p.m. tonight, Typhoon 1 will approximately be 90 kilometers west, southwest of Tugegaro. There is uh, Tugegaro right there. And its sustained winds uh, is expected to decrease to around 180 kilometers an hour. By 12 midnight, should be exiting the island of Luzon and uh, is crossing uh, at uh, or near uh, Tagudin in Ilocos Sur 
at 70 kilometers south of Viga, 60 kilometers north north northeast of Baguio City, and 95 kilometers north of Dagupan. Uh, by that time, Typhoon 1 should have weakened to Category 2 Typhoon with winds of around 175 kilometers an hour. I just want to show you something here. This is the uh, satellite image taken uh, around 8 hours ago when Typhoon 1 was still at its peak. See the central dense overcast there. The very prominent eye, well defined, around 20 nautical miles, if I mistaken. You can also see uh, multiple vortices on the eye wall there. It's an area where uh, very strong winds come in from every direction. It's usually found in rapidly intensifying tropical cyclones. Um, this is the latest image we have right now for Typhoon 1 and you can see the eye this became cloud filled as it made landfall so one uh, after passing the Sierra Madre mountains we still have the Cord Cordillera mountains here that uh, one has to cross so we expect some significant weakening as it exits uh, Luzon. However, this expected to re-intensify and regain Category 3 strength. So Pangasinan and uh, provinces here in the western side Ilocos region should still expect uh, fairly strong winds uh, into mon uh, tonight and into Tuesday. As for uh, as for the rain, we have here a satellite image and you can see one point, uh, around 1.2 to 1.4 inches an hour or around 50 millimeters, close to 50 millimeters an hour. We also have here from the NOAA. This is for the next 6 hours. This is for hours 6 to 12. See very heavy rain there in Mountain Province, Kalinga, Ifugao. Those are very mountainous areas, so expect a lot of uh, landslides and mudslides, as well as flush flooding in uh, low-lying areas. And uh, we expect that to continue uh, as Juan moves into Ilocos and uh, La Union. And uh, expect around 200 to 300 millimeters in isolated areas. So that's going to be a lot of, uh, it's going to be a lot of flooding and uh, just total destruction, especially to crops. And we just hope that, you no know, uh, lives will be spared and that you know, there will be minimal damages. Well, this is, this is probably it. Uh, thanks for watching. The images we used were taken from the National uh, Naval uh, Research Lab of the United States Navy and the CIMSS, Bagasa, and also NOAA. Also, please uh, visit Typhoon2000.com for early updates uh, regarding uh, Typhoon 1 and also Pagasa. And uh, we also have here WesternPacificWeather.com issuing uh, video updates as well. And only and it doesn't just cover the Philippines; it covers the entire uh, Western Pacific Basin, actually. So it's really useful, especially for those living in Japan, Korea, and China. And if you want to talk with other enth uh, weather enthusiasts and some experienced uh, meteorologists, head over to storm2k.org. It's a forum for you know, dedicated uh, people. Uh, that are monitoring the weather and that's about it for a second video update thank you for watching be safe